Hi right, y'all, what's good YouTube? It's your boy IGB Family. You know we're back again with another video. As y'all can see by today's title, DDG expecting another child. Corey calls out Carmen saying she's an immigrant, crash out, whatever. It's crazy that a nigga is really trying to make his baby mama crash out. But if y'all new, please make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna jump into today's video. So as many of you know, DDG and Hallie just welcomed their baby boy, Halo. Well, DDG went on to Snapchat and- Now that's crazy. If he is expected to do for another child, I mean, you already had your old ex Ruby Rose on shambles. She didn't approve of the first one. She ain't definitely gonna approve of the second one. Hey, DDG has been doing a lot of trolling on Snapchat. But let's move on to this next topic with Regine and Lucci. Now, if you guys remember, Regine was in a relationship with Lucci before he went into jail. Now, Lucci has been in jail for a while while going to trial. Well, yesterday he was finally sentenced with 20 years and the judge gave him time served. So he had 10 years to actually be in prison and 10 years on probation so damn buddy crashed out 10 years on probation is crazy but shit you rather do the time out than the time in but still 10 years on probation is crazy buddy done crashed out terrorism wow that's crazy bro nah that, that's crazy that's crazy so it looks like that he may be home soon serving his 10 years on probation. Well, Regine went on to Twitter. She started tweeting things like, Reg, forever loyal and mind your business that pays you once again. Now, people were saying that Regine wasn't loyal because after Lucci went to jail, she pretty much moved on with her life. But I think actually they broke up before he went into jail. Anyway, I mean, like, fellas, I think everybody knows from the jump when she, you go to prison, your girl. Y'all already know it's, she ain't gonna stay loyal. Come on now, bro. She's not gonna stay loyal. Kids involved, no matter what, she ain't gonna stay loyal. But it's best to break up before you go in there so you don't have to stress yourself out. Regine stated, now how I get in it is my mood for today. Now a couple blogs on Instagram started thinking that all of these tweets definitely had something to do with Lucci, but Lucci is in a whole nother relationship. His girlfriend posted, see you soon, baby. Now let's move on to this next topic with Ken and his girlfriend, Juju. Now she recently posted a photo with a ring and stated, I said yes. Now, when someone sent this to me, by then, Juju had already deleted it off of her Instagram. So that person then contacted Juju and stated, congratulations on you and Ken. Juju responds with, LOL, girl, it was a game. I was playing. Now, Juju and Ken have been... Now, that's crazy to get on the internet and troll your fans like that. Because you know your fans basically die hard for you and they're going to be like... People on the internet nowadays, when they're your fan or whatever, they follow you, bro. They, it's crazy, but again, I mean, it's all jokes. Dating for Hopefully a while, so married. I wasn't surprised by the whole engagement if it was true. But I was a little skeptical about the ring that she posted. But then again, you never know someone's financial situation. But either way, Juju stayed. I mean, to be honest, it wouldn't really matter about the ring. Honestly, I think it's like thought of it, you feel me? Because engagement, fucking proposing to someone is a fucking big, you know, commitment. So, like, it wouldn't really matter about the ring or whatever. But to some people, it matters about how much is on their finger, which is crazy nowadays in society. Stated that it wasn't true. It was just a game. But let's move on to this next topic with Carmen and Corey. So I'm assuming that Corey has been trying to see his kids and Carmen is still not up for it. So he went completely off on her on Facebook. And then people started jumping in. Yeah, do, do y'all think that consider like her not making him see his kids? Would y'all say she a better baby mama? I wouldn't. I don't know their situation. This thing is just crazy. But like, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say she a baby, bitter 
baby mama, but, you know, we're going to see what they say. And to defend Carmen. Now, first, Corey went off by stating, I regret meeting certain people. I regret having kids with an immigrant. If I had knew what I know now, I would have left when I should have once I felt out what I was dealing with. Having a good heart can put you in an effed up situation down the line. Evaluate everything before committing. Yeah, nah, that's crazy. To go ahead and call your baby mama a fucking immigrant is insane. That's insane. Because half of this fucking country is populated with immigrants. So, therefore, you're not really going to jump into that topic. But, like, he's not wrong. No, I'm not saying he's he's right for calling her that. No. What I'm saying is he's not wrong about, you know, choosing the certain people that y'all have kids with. That should have been on the topic before y'all had kids, you feel me? But, like, again, people aren't going to know someone until they really unfold the truth. You feel me? But, again, it's very disrespectful to just get on the internet and call her that. But, again, people say shit. But, again, people are always going to say the truth despite of how mad they are. And you ain't dealt or dealing with this type of situation. You don't know what it's like to walk in these shoes. So someone replies underneath Corey's comment with, when you say having a kid with an immigrant, it sounds racist. Poor choice of words from an immigrant. Corey states, y'all the poor ones using Americans to get citizenship. Someone nah, that's crazy. Y'all the poor ones. Wow. Wow. I mean, that's very class act by Corey, but, like, shit. Just to say it like that is crazy, like. Okay, buddy. Someone else states, the F does been an immigrant gotta do with anything. LOL, you wasn't tripping when you was in that thing, cuh. Ish happens. It's a part of life. Corey states, you know who I am, bro. I'll have your mother and your daughter. If you were to ever have one, never a problem, G. When kids involved, it hit different. I now, that's crazy for him to say, I'll fuck your mother and your daughter is crazy. Now this man is fighting for his life in the comment section. It's another thing, you know, to say what you said, but going on the, you know, comment section to address it is crazy. Now, that's absurd, man. If you ask me, that's what say. Another person stated, wow, hope your kids don't see this one day. Corey responds with, I'll tell them. Someone else says, the immigrant helped you get where you're at now, buddy. Corey states, no, you got it twisted. I helped that immigrant get to where she at. Stop it and don't speak on something you don't know the facts to. Another Nah, that's crazy to just blatantly get on the internet and say your baby mama's a fucking immigrant is crazy. But again, that's his baby mama. That ain't my baby mama. That I don't know her like that. But like, again, that's very disrespectful to do that shit. But again, you know, choice of words. He could have used different words, but he wants to use those exact choice of words. This man is really out here trying to make his baby mom crash out, which is very sad. Like, it's crazy. The person states, dude be crying his ass off, but made money off her in videos and started cheating. Now crying. Own up and boss up, thug. You made that bed. Now lay in it. We can't save you. LMAO, we just here to be nosy. Corey states, you obviously ain't got no kids. And then he responds back with, I'm just saying, you do you and she do her. Why cry, thug? I thought you left her, but have two kids. LOL. Corey stated, drive your truck, buddy. Stay out of rich folks' business. Who broke in words will never have the problems we have. So now this last person speaks on the whole situation with Corey getting custody of the boys. She states, there is a waiting period. They have to verify address, family, and everything. You laughing, but I ain't the one with the situation. You is. I was just telling you it. it's not easy to get custody and send her back to her country. Corey then responds with, when you commit a crime as an immigrant, trust me, you can get sent back quick. So I'm guessing now Corey is stating that Carmen has committed. Now that's crazy. 
he's really going all out and all in on her ass. Like, I understand you want to see your kids. But, like, to make the baby mama, like, go away to a different country is absurd. Like, y'all can't just co-parent at this point. Like, y'all niggas just crashing out badly. He, he's dead ass trying to make her crash out badly. Like, niggas can't co-parent at this point a crime and that's going to be his way of getting her sent back to her country now i'm not sure how true any of this is i'm just posting what Corey stated on facebook this post has since been deleted but you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below i think by Corey doing this is only making carmen even more hesitant about letting Corey see the boys but again, you guys leave your opinions on this and everything else in this video down in the comment section below. Now, Corey has been on Instagram on live, and I guess he's trying to get people to sign up for some of the courses that he's going to be running. All right. But I always knew I had a purpose over my life to impact people. And if you go back on my social media, matter of fact, I was on Facebook last night, and I went on my other phone and I pulled up my Facebook and I pulled up my old statuses all the way from 2011, 2013. And you can see what I always had on my heart. Like, hey, I want to impact live. Like, that, that's just always been me, right? And so I'm mean, right now, I, this year, like, I kind of, like, a little bit lost myself. Because I was like, man, okay, what the fuck I want to do? Nah, I think you done lost yourself fully. I think you done lost yourself fully. Like, all due respect, my nigga, I don't know you. But all due respect, bro. It's crazy how you bashing your baby mama on the internet and bashing motherfuckers, your supporters, all these motherfuckers that's trying to help you give advice or whatever in the comment section. And then you go out and put a course to take their money. <laughs> now you some different type of fucking scam last week. I'm not saying the course ain't gonna help nobody. Of course, maybe the course is. I don't know. I'm not paying for that course. But again, to do that is absurd. It's crazy. It's crazy. The internet is undefeated. Dude, like, I'm gonna be real with y'all. My goal was to try to impact people live with my music, which I still can. But if you don't know, you have to do things and get controversy for first to really reel people in because most people ain't gonna just listen to you when you just tell them outright what it is. You gotta do something to get their attention. That's why I troll a lot. People don't understand what I do, they don't understand why I do it. And I understand that people don't understand why I do what I do because it's not meant for you to understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? As like, long as I'm causing impact, then I'm doing it. It's very simple. So a lot of people can laugh at me all they want to, but you don't understand me. That's why I continue to do what I'm doing. I said to myself, I said, damn, man. Like, what? Like, and I was on the phone with my mentor yesterday, like literally for like an hour. I was on the phone with my granddad yesterday for like an hour. And, and like, and people that don't know me, I talk to, like, all my friends are older. All my friends are older, successful men that, that, that you know what I'm saying, that understand, that understand life, that have the knowledge. So I don't talk to other 25 years old. I don't talk to 20-year-olds. 20, 20 I don't even talk to people in my age range for real, for real. Don't take it the wrong way. But I can't talk to a lot of y'all. Y'all lost this book. So how the fuck am I going to come to y'all and, and connect with y'all? I can't. I can't. It's, 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 it's like we... <laughs> So that's why all my life I always connect with older people. You see what I'm saying? And Nah, he was definitely not wrong with that. Always surround yourself with older, more people because they're more knowledgeable and they'll teach you more about life than you are. You then you already know. You feel me? Because young people, young minded, they're not gonna want to explore the world. Like necessarily exploring the world don't mean going out, having fun, partying, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You feel me? Knowledge is key, bro. Knowledge is key. Once you fill your mind with knowledge and bear the fruit of knowledge, bro, you will become more successful in life. You just have to go through the phases. Everything is a phase. But again, phases don't last forever. It's all up to you. So, like, you know, he, he be speaking facts and shit, but, like, the way he be going about the situations right now is crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to catch you on the next video.